In this part of the series, we're going to learn how to create a simple animation and implement that animation in an interactive VR experience. The part that you're about to animate is the elevator. Hold Shift and double click it to select the highest level of the elevator's geometry, or simply select it from the object's tree to the left. The animation would simply be for the moving component of the elevator to go up to the second level of the design. Go to the Animation tab at the bottom panel to reveal the animation timeline. Move the current time indicator to frame 90. And since the VR animation's frame per second is set to 30, creating a 90 frames animation would yield 3 seconds animation in VR, which is fine for this example. Using the Transform tool, move the elevator up to reach the surface of the second level. Notice that a keyframe was created at frame 90 automatically. This keyframe contains the transformation of the elevator at that second level. If we were to play the animation, we would see how the elevator moves from the ground at frame 0 and gets the second level at frame 90. You can move the green sliders to specify the beginning and the end of the play area. Click on the created keyframes and from the attributes panel to the right, open the drop down menu. From this menu, you can change the interpolation of keyframes. By default, the values are set to linear, which would make the animation speed constant. But if we were to change it to auto ease, the speed would drop towards the end of the animation. You can also change the key interpolation at frame 0, resulting in an animation where the elevator starts slow, then picks up the speed and slows down again towards the end. Now that we're done creating the animation, we need to attach it to an object, so that if we were to interact with the object, the elevator would move up. And since there are no buttons on the elevator, we're gonna import a model of a panel. From the file menu, select Import. One of SimLab Composer's greatest strength points is its ability to import a huge variety of 3D file formats, making SimLab Composer a suitable partner for any 3D CAD application. Select the elevator panel.fbx and click open to import it. In the import file dialog, you can set the up vector for the model. I'm gonna keep it on the z-axis since the up vector in the application where I designed the panel is also the z-axis. You also have the option to place the model in view, which is helpful if you are not concerned with keeping the object location exactly as it was designed. The next step is to place the panel on the elevator. Click on the Snap tool, then click on the elevator's rail to snap it to it. Rotate it to be aligned with the rail and slightly adjust its position to make it fit. If you were to play the animation again, you will see that the elevator moves while the panel remains stationary. And this behavior is to be expected since both components are in separate groups. To solve this issue, simply select the panel's highest level group and with the left click, drag and drop it inside the elevator's group. And since the animation keys were created at the highest level, any objects under that level would move along with it. To connect the animation to the panel, we need to first conserve it as a sequence. So select both keyframes and click on the Create Animation Sequence button. Type in a name for the animation and make sure you check the Create Reverse option, which would create an additional sequence of the animation in reverse, and we will use that version to get the elevator down. If you open the Sequences tab, you will find the created animation sequences there and they are ready to be attached. Select the up button and from the objects panel to the right, switch the action type to animation sequence. Actions are responses that will occur in the VR if the user clicked on the object. So in our case, we need the action to play the animation sequence of the elevator going up, 
when we press the up button. So let us select the elevator sequence to attach it right away. Select the other button and similar to the first one, set the action to animation sequence, but this time select the reverse version of the animation sequence. Press Ctrl and Enter on the keyboard to run the VR experience. If you haven't already placed the start position like we talked about in the previous parts of the series, a message will pop up informing you of the need to add a starting position. Set the starting position and confirm its location to start the VR experience. Creating animations and animation sequences in SimLab Composer is very easy making it very simple for anyone to create their own interactive experiences with just few steps.